Hi everyone, my name is May. I'm with Lead IQ and we build a sales prospecting platform. How many of you here in, in the audience are doing some kind of sales or BD? Quite a few, and I know Tad is doing that too. So, um, do you have to sometimes reach out to someone and you don't know their contact information? And you really need it, right? That happens all the time. So, that's what we have tried to solve. This is <clears throat> Lead IQ um, has a common extension that you can walk. Um, you, it's a common extension. If you are on Chrome, you can actually automatically bring it together here. The solution is a little small, so I will have to resize my mouse a little bit. But let's say you're on LinkedIn and Pat, who's your target audience when you're selling? Who do you typically sell to? Uh, uh, learning, learning development. Learning development. So you can actually pack it on LinkedIn and say people with learning development. Mm, we need to actually search for people instead of a job. <clears throat> and this is all of the people who's like that target audience. Martin, senior manager of global quality learning development and all of these people. So with LeadIQ, we scrape your browser. We find the people's first, um, name, first name, last name, company title, and you can see them mapping one to one. Anything that you see on your browser maps to our Chrome, Chrome extension. And then you can build a new list. I have all sorts of lists, um, CDOs, CEOs, VP of Finance, whatever you need it. Now I'm building a list for Tab, which is Let's create a new list, call it learning management. And you can <coughs> capture them one at a time. So Marcus seems to be a good guy, Melissa seems to be a good guy. You can capture them all uh, one at a time, or you can just tell me, I want all of these people. Build me a list. And what we do at this point of time is we go all over the internet to mostly public pages like um, Google, Twitter, Facebook, the company web pages, and we find information about all of these people. This is what we found. So we found their email address, um, both corporate email and personal email. We found, let me, let me see, actually, <clears throat> I can make this bigger. We find their first name, last name, company title, phone number, social link, company, team size, company phone, and all of this information. So just with a click of a button, right? Um, we are doing it page by page. This is because we are not actually connecting directly to LinkedIn, right? We are just getting whatever information that's in your browser. So whenever you're looking at these people, I can just cap capture all of them again. For salespeople, sometimes it's all in on the skin. You want to reach out to 100 people a day, 200 people a day, and 1% or 2% of them wants to take a call with you and you will come for them. We make it really easy for you to do that. And we are starting out with LinkedIn, but we also support AngelList, and our algorithm works just if you give us a first name, last name, and company. That's all we need. If we have the first name, last name, and company, we go all over the internet and find these people information for you. So we're starting out by automating this piece, and we are moving to like automate more and more. Like um, in a few months, you can tell us more. Like just tell us a couple of keywords, like learning management um, software, and then we can find um, what type of company, how big they are, what's the team size. And one other thing is we connect with your Salesforce or CRM system here. Example here, I could actually choose to save this to Salesforce, automatically save them as a contact or as a lead. We do a bi-directional sync with Salesforce, <coughs> where you can actually just search. I could search for all of the accounts in Salesforce that has these words. That way you know that you will be creating duplicate account. Everything that you're creating <coughs> will be automatically associated with the right account. You can do this one by one, or you can also just box things to Salesforce. And all of this list that you have just built automatically gets to Salesforce. So it's really easy to use LeadIQ um, and build a list and then using our LeadIQ platform, 
you can also manage if you don't if you use CRM like Salesforce, you can um, we sing we sing them to Salesforce for you. If you don't use Salesforce, you can use us just like a mini CRM. You can see all of these different lists that we have built, and then you can manage them in here. So thank you, and if there is any questions, I'll, I'm happy to take them. Yes, please. Do you do bulk email lists? Do we do both email lists? Bulk? Bulk, yes. So you can send us a spreadsheet of first name, last name, and company, and we do all the work for you. So some of our clients um, attend conferences, and then they get a list of first name, last name, and company, but nothing else. They can send it to us, and we do the same logic, and find all the details for you, and then send it back to you. Yes. yes. How accurate are you? So since we are finding information mostly from public information right now, we can't find 100% email addresses and phone information, right? Right now, we are finding around 50 to 60% of the people's information. Out of the 50 to 60%, so if you notice here, besides all of the emails, we have this either check mark or question mark. On those with the green check marks, that means we have verified. So we are finding on average 50 to 60% verified email addresses. And those email that we said we verified it, we guarantee 95% deliverability, that you should not get more than 5% bounce. <laughs> but on those that has question marks, then we are not guaranteeing it, and we are not charging you for it. Our system works um, where you get a limit every month, and your limit, um, only the verified emails goes up to your limit. Yes? Are you building out uh, triggers for like uh, someone in your list change jobs? Is that what you were referring to? Yeah, so some of, some of these are Definitely on our roadmap, you are totally right. Some of our clients, I would like to know people who are hiring in the last 30 days, something like that, right? I would like to come this certain side. So, this information we can get it from like by um, getting from Indeed, a couple of job board, and so we are adding more and more data sources to our database so we can provide some of the signal or buying triggers. And is your pricing model contact based or is it based? Currently, it's contact based. Yes? Do you share my leads with other customers? Do we share, share your leads? Lead with other customers? So this is how it works, right? Whenever you capture leads from us, we automatically save it to our database too. But your leads goes to a big ocean of leads. So that's a yes. That's a yes. But when your competitors or other people search for the same data, we don't give you like, oh, your competitor A has these leads, so that is your proprietary information. We don't give them the same exact list of leads because that's a narrow list of people and that's your proprietary data. But um, they, all these data goes to a big ocean and if your competitor is facing the same leads again, they will get the same phone number, emails, and all of that too. But they have to build their own list. We are not passing lists from one customer to another. Does that make sense? Yeah. How much does it cost? So in general, um, uh, from verified contact, is we are charging around thirty cents to forty cents an email contact. per contact. Right. The more volume you are buying, the cheaper it is. It can get slightly lower than thirty cents. But yeah. So our model is um, a SaaS model too. You can sign up for uh, on our website for just fifty dollars per month, and you get a limit up to one hundred fifty emails a month. You can use it that way. And then if you need more and more leads, then you can you can up it. All right, looks like um, that's it. Thank you very much.